Hi, Ernie. Hi. Uh, you went to sleep right away after the shear? I did. Well, from the turkey? <laughs> I fell asleep early, yeah. It's definitely something. There's no question about it. Tough Bay is 22. Okay. Oh. Good morning, Johnny. Tough Bay is. Tough Bay is. Mario. Oh, here they come. Here they Sorry. Come. Good morning. Good morning. I'm eating breakfast, so uh, okay. I'm not on video. <laughs> Eat for me. Okay. Tough Bay is 22. Vahatanya. Akela Vagdi Shadilgu. A dog or a goat that jumped. And damage something. Bain mil model mata, whether it jumped from high to low. Or bain mil mata lamala pturin would be potter, which is a which is not what we said before. Tirgama of Papa the Apich Mepich. They jumped in an opposite way. Kalba Bizakira. Because the jaw, the dog did one big jump, and normally it doesn't do that. The gadya b'sricha, and the goat like hop. In each case, they would be a mishuna. It would be a, an unusual act. So the Gemara says they still did damage. So yeah, potter nezik sholik. It's not regular regel. Because these are unusual events, but it's Karen, Chayov, and the like any kind of unusual damage. Then we have the case of a Kelev Shenotal. A dog took a piece of cake 
and there were coals there. And he ate the cake, but by eating the cake, it caused the coals to burn a field. We said that the owner of the dog pays Nezek Sholem for the cake. But for the burning, it's like Troy Royce. It's like a secondary action. It's like stones rolling. And we learned Troy Royce pays Chatsi Nezek. Okay, so Itmar. Let's concentrate a little bit on fire. Somebody lights a fire and then it goes and burns. So Isho Mishum Chetzio, a corner of Yechnan, when a person lights a fire, it's like he fires a arrow to a different place. Now, an arrow would be an Adam, Hamazik, as if he used a sword or his power. Rish Lokish says, no, a fire belongs, is his asset, like his ox that gores. So just like his possession did damage, here the fire is doing damage, the same thing. Now, Rish Lokish, my time alone, my why didn't Rish Lakish say that it's Misham Chetzio? Amr It's not similar to launching a bow and arrow. Chetzio mi kocho ka'ozli. The arrow flies because of the power of the human being. Hai lo mi kocho ka'ozli. The fire, the, the wind is moving the fire. Yes, his koach started the fire in its location, but then when it moved and it did damage somewhere else, there was a different koach. Rav Yechlin, my time in Lakish. Why didn't Rav Yechlin say it's Mamoinai? Amalachar Mamoinai Ispe Meshasha. A person's asset has physical reality. Ha Leslie Mamash. Fire is like energy. It, it doesn't have mass. It doesn't have physical substance. And therefore, you can't say that the fire belongs to him like his personal mama. It's not. So the Gemara brings proof from our Mishnah. So we said, in that case, if, he, if, the, if the dog took a piece of cake, he pays for the lighting of the fire, Chatsi Nezek. So Bishma Lando Shi Isha Mishum Khatsio, a corner of Yechnan says the fire is the person's power. So Khitsio of the Kelavhu. So the fire really emanated from the Kelev. And therefore the bilim of the Kelev is responsible to pay for the damage that the dog did. It's like if a person's cow kicked up stones. So it's the koach of the kelev. But according to Reish Lakish, it says it's because of his mamoin, high h lava monishal bal kelevu. The coals did not belong to the owner of the dog. Why should, why should, the owner of the dog be high for what happened with the coals. The adya odya. The dog didn't just put the 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 coals down in one place. He actually dragged the coals from place to place. So al khara. That's how we have to understand the mishnah. Al khara mishan that for eating the cake he pays regular shame. Nezek Shalim. where he placed the coals directly in that place, 
Mishan Chatsi Nezek. That he would pay Tzoyles. But that which he dragged the coals from place to place. Valagod is Kula Ptura. Because according to Rish Lakish, the Chiyu for Esh is because of his mama. And this coal didn't belong to the owner of the Kelev. Rav Yechdan explains differently. A regular case, the An Chanuchi, that he just put the coals down when he ate, when he ate the cake. And then it, the fire spread like that. Al Rav Amakam Kachel is Mashal Nezek Shalik. For the eating of the cake, he pays Nezek Shalom like shame. And for the location of where the coal was and it burned, he also pays Nezek Shalim because it's part of the Achila of the Kelev. Valagodish Mashal Chatzit Nezek. That's Troy Royce. Toshma. Another proof. Gomel toin pishtin. A camel was loaded down with flax on it on its back. The avar b'shusarabi. The camel was walking through shusarabi. It was so overloaded that nichnasa pishton tocha chanus. The flax ended up in a person's store. Vidalko Benerish Lchenveni and the grocery grocer had a, a candle there. And the camel's flax got it was so overloaded that it entered into the store and caught fire. Vihidlika Sabira. And the grocery store got burnt down. Bal Gamal Chayev. So the owner of the camel is Chayev. If the grocer had put the candle outside, so chenveni chayv. So and Rabbi Yudah Oymi b'neir Chanukah, where it's a mitzvah to put your neir outside, potter. But let's analyze where the we said where the owner of the camel was chayv. If the grocer had had his candle on the inside. That a fire is due to the power of the person. So it's Chetzio Shul Gamal. So I understand why the Bala Gamal is high. The fire belonged to the Chenveni, not to the Balgamal. It's not where the fire touched one place and then it spread everywhere else. The camel, while walking, moved the flaming flax throughout the place. So it's like the case of the dog that put the coal down and then moved it from place to place. The Achiyam is safe. If that's the way you're learning, let's look at the safe of that Mishnah. If the grocer had the candle outside, even Masachas, but if you're talking about that the camel dragged the fire throughout, am I Chayim? Why should the grocer be Chayim? His candle was in one place. It was the camel that dragged it from place to place. So Bisha'anda. The camel was not walking, but the flax was on his body so in such a long fashion. It was a lot. So the fire moved um, from one from one end of the camel to the other and burnt the house down. So if the if under the sachsacha that the camel was not moving, it was the burden that lit 
and travel through the house. So certainly the grocer should be potter and the owner of the camel. The owner of the camel should have taken the camel out of there. So that's not a chiddish. The camel stopped to urinate. And it's during that time that the fire spread. So the, for the owner of the camel, it's an onus. He, he, he wouldn't be able to move the camel. He, would have, he tried to get the camel to move, but it was urinating. He couldn't move it. Reisha Bal Gamal Chayev, in the first case, the owner of the camel was Chayev Shlo Ivilei, Blafusha Betina, because the camel owner should have been more careful and not overloaded the back of the camel with all that flax. And then it wouldn't have entered into the store. So the, the guilt is on the owner of the camel. Seifa, where the grocer had put the candle outside. The grocer shouldn't have put the candle outside. Okay. Toshma. Amadlik is a godish. Person lit a fire in a field. Low. And there was a, a, a goat tied up in that field. Or an Eved Knani, which is a personal, which is worth something, right? Samachlo, the Nisraf Imo. And the goat and the Eved burnt up. Chayev, so the guy who lit the fire has to pay for the field that burned and for the goat. Now, the, the Eved was awake. So he's potter for the Evid because the Evid should have ran away. But Evid cough was slow. If the Evid had been tied like the goat was tied, so he's potter for the Gedi. Let's see Rashi. Agdi va Godush. He's Potter. We have a din. Kamalaymid Rabbi Mine. Shahoy Rega Evid Nera. Person kills an Evid, you're killed. The Chsiv Nakomi Nakem. Hide the Naka Gdi, Mishum de Vakmin, the Kamim Gdi, the Chad, the Evid the Chad. Later on, we're going to be talking about two different owners. The Begodish for Evid Lekalu, and we have the principle of once you, you get a, a capital punishment, you don't have to pay the monetary punishment. So I understand Rabbi Yochanan, who says that when you light a fire, it's like you, you shot an arrow. In the second case, you're potter on the field because it's as if he directly killed the Evet with his arrow and he's chayv misa. And when you're chayv a capital punishment like that, you don't pay the money. But the one who says that the mechanism of a fire's damage is because it's your asset that did damage, not that you did it. My potter, ilukatul tori avda. If a person sure killed an evet, you would also not have to pay damages. You only you wouldn't get capital punishment, so you'd have to pay for the for the event, and you'd have to pay for the field because there's no capital punishment. The fire. You burnt the Eved. 
and therefore, and then the fire spread from the Evan. So he's chayv misa for killing the Evan. The kim levid rabbi minei, you don't get the monetary pain. Yachim my lemeimer, the more was the chiddush. Of course, that's the case. He's a rotzea. Well, lo tzricha begdide chad veevid chad. There was a goat and an evid in the field, but they were they had different owners. So you might think you chayv money to one guy who's not the owner of the evid. You'd have to pay. You still have to pay to the owner of the Gedi, even though he's Chayv Misa for the killing of the Eved. Chedesh is, for the one act, both things happen. We're not Chayv him to pay even the owner of the goat. Toshma. Hasholecha sabi'ira biag cheres shoy v'katan. Person sends gives a fire to a keres shoyt of a cotton that doesn't have das. So Bezdin is not machayev him because technically he didn't do it. But chay bedin is shemayim. It was your responsibility not to give it to someone without das. Bishma mandomer isha mishum chetzio. The, the error would be of the Cheresh. That's why the guy who sent it wouldn't be Chayiv. If I gave a wild ox to a Cheresh of the I would be Chayiv. We learned before in, in, in Daf, Daf Yud that you're Chayiv in that case. If you gave a hot burning coal to a shoite, excuse me, you gave a coal to the Michigan, but he blew on it and he turned it into a flame, then it's put. But if you gave a lit flame to a shoita, but the Moser lo shalev is chay. My timer. Shaborei zeka. That's clear and present danger. It's like giving him a a, a goring ox. Rav Yechonam Afilu shalevet potter ksover savta the cherish kagorim. It's really. The action of the of the cherish that did everything, because he wasn't careful. Says Rav Yechiel, "Lo machayev at shemasul gavzer silta v'sharga." You have to give him everything: the wood, the fire, and a lit flame. So then it's clear; it's a boronezik. It's very clear, as if he did it himself. Amar Pro must need to misalate the Rav Yechonon. A pasuk and a baraisa supports Rav Yechonon that Isho Mishum Chetzio. What's the kra? Says Kiseit Se Eish Teche Me Atzma. Means the fire went out, and it says Yishalem on Avir Sabeira. The one who lit the fire is Chayiv Shmamina Isho Mishum Chetzio. It, we 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 view it as if he himself did it, and Masnisa is also a right. The Tanya, we'll learn the Brisa tomorrow. So we said tomorrow, um, is going to be six thirty, yeah, at night, followed by the Navi at seven o'clock. Yes, yes. Have a good Shabbos, everyone. Shabbos.